I'm going to show you in this video how to use those purchased fonts. No, they're not really fonts. They are designs that look like letters and have to be treated as individual designs. And I'm using PE Design 10. Uh, going to be using the import function. And there is an import function in all versions of PE Design. It's just in different places. In version 10, I can click on Import Patterns at the top here and go from File. Or I can come over to the Import Pane here. Well, right now it's in the Design Library, so I'm going to click on the menu to the right. I want Folder. And, yep, not the right folder, so I'm going to click on the little icon for Browse. And now I can scroll around till I get the right folder and just open them up till I get into the right one. And when I'm using the import feature, I don't even need to stay with PES files. I'm going to go ahead and use HUS. And here are my designs. I'm just going to drag it over onto the design page. Now, I can select it and hit import. But when I do that, it puts all the designs on top of each other. And sometimes it's a little hard to find them. I'm going to undo that. And I, I, I personally just like to drag them. It's just a personal preference, that's all. And drag the next one. As you can see, it's, it can be challenging to line these up. In PE Design 10, we have a grid or we can use, and it's down here. Oops, wrong one. The grid is this button. Or I can turn that off. I have a guideline in 10, and I like this better. I'm going to click on my letter design and move it into place. The next one, and now the A, put it into place. And, well, with that little descender, it's not lined up correctly, so I'm going to use the arrow key on my keyboard. And now it's in place. Now remember, I imported HUS files. When I go up here to the Application button and click Save As, it will now be saved as a PES file. Well, I don't want to put it on my dongle, so I'm going to choose a different place. And I'm just going to uh, call it, put it in my AAA class folder, and type in a name, and say save. There we go. That is how you use those designs that look like letters in PE Design.